a huge percentage of websites have more noise than signal. You know, they're they're or because they're just used for search engine optimization. They're literally just sc scam websites. So, um, how do you, by the way, sorry to interrupt, get the signal, separate the signal and noise on X? It's such a fascinating source of data. Uh, you know, no offense to people posting on X, but so sometimes there's a little bit of noise. So what? yeah, I think the signal to noise could be greatly improved. I mean, I, really, all of the posts on the X platform. Uh, should be AI recommended, meaning like we should populate a vector space around any given post, uh, compare that to the vector space around any user, and match the two. Mm -hmm. um, right now, there is a little bit of AI used for the, the the recommended posts, but it's mostly heuristics. Um, and if there's a reply, where the, the reply to a post could be much better than the original post, but it will but according to the current rules of the system, get almost no attention compared to a primary post. Oh, so a lot of that, I I got the sense, so you, a lot of the uh, uh, X algorithm has been open source and been written up about, and it seems that there to be some machine learning, it's disparate, but there's some it's a little, learning. there's a little bit, um, it, but it needs to be entirely that. Like the, at least the, in the, like if, if you explicitly follow someone, that's one thing, but if you, in terms of what is recommended mm -hmm. uh, from people that you don't follow, that should all be AI. I mean, it's a fascinating problem. Yeah. So there's several aspects of it that's fascinating. First, so as the write-up goes, it first picks 1,500 tweets from a pool of hundreds of millions. First of all, that's fascinating because you have mm -hmm. hundreds of millions of posts every single day and it has to pick 1,500 from which it then does, obviously people you follow, but then there's also like some kind of clustering it has to do to figure out what kind of human are you, what kind of new clusters might be relevant to you, People like you. This this kind of this kind of problem is just fascinating because it has to then rank those fifteen hundred mm -hmm. with some with some filtering, yeah, and then recommend you just a handful. And um, to, to me, what's really fascinating is how fast it has to do that. So currently, that entire pipeline to go from several hundred million to a handful is takes two hundred and twenty seconds of CPU time, single CPU time. Yeah, and then it has to do that in like. A second, so it has to be like super distributed in fascinating ways. Like, there's just a lot of tweets. There's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff on the system, and and I think, but I think it, right now it's it's not currently good at recommending things that from accounts you don't follow. Yeah. Um. Or, or where there's more than one degree of separation. So you know, it's it's pretty good if if there's at least like some commonality between. Someone you follow liked something, um, or reposted it, or commented on it, or something like that. Um, but if 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 there's no car, let's say somebody posts something really interesting, uh, but you have no followers in common, mm -hmm. you would not see it. Interesting. And then, as you said, reply like replies might not surface. Re either. Replies basically never get seen because they're never they're, they're currently. I'm not saying it's correct. I'm saying it's incorrect. Uh, re replies have um, you know, a couple of magnitude less importance than primary posts. Do you think this can be more and more converted into end-to-end -end neural net? Yeah, yeah, that's what it should be. So you, you well, the recommendations should be purely a vector correlation. Like mm -hmm. there's a series of vectors, you know, basically pra parameters, vectors, whatever you want to call them. Um, but but sort of things that the system knows that you like, um, in this, like maybe there's like several hundred sort of vectors associated with each user account, and then uh, any post in the system, um, whether it's video, audio, short post, long post. The the reason I, by the way, I want to move away from tweet is that you know people are posting like two, three hour videos on the site. That's not a tweet. Like, so yeah. they'd be like, tweet for th yeah. two hours? Come on. Do a tweet made sense when it was like 140 characters of text. Because mm -hmm. it's like a bunch of tweet, 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 like little birds tweeting. Um, but when you've got long form content, it's no longer a tweet. Yeah. Um, so a movie is not a tweet. And like, you know, Apple, for example, posted like the entire episode of the silo, the entire thing mm -hmm. on our platform. And by the way, it was, the, it was their number one social media thing ever in engagement of anything on any platform ever. So it was a great idea. 
Uh, and by the way, I, don't, I just learned about it afterwards. I was like, hey, wow, they po posted an entire hour-long episode of so. No, that's not a tweet. <laughs> that's a, you know, it's a video. But from a neural net perspective, it becomes really complex, whether it's a single, so like everything's data, so single sentence, a clever sort of joke, dad joke, is in the same pool as a three-hour video. Yeah, I mean, right now it's it's a hodgepodge for that reason. It's it's, um, but you know, like if let's say in the ca case of Apple posting like a, an entire episode of of their series, pretty good series by the way, the Silo. Um, I watched it. Um, so um, th there's going to be a lot of discussion around it. So that you've you've got a lot of context, mm -hmm. people commenting, they like it, they don't like it, or they like this, or the you know, and and you can then populate the vector space based on the context of of all the comments around it. So even though it's a video, uh, there's a lot of information around it that that allows you to populate the vector space of that that uh, hour long video, um, mm -hmm. and then you can obviously get more sophisticated by having the AI actually watch the movie, yeah, right, and tell you if you're going to like the movie, mm -hmm. convert the movie into like. Yeah, into a language essentially. Yeah, Interpreter analyze this movie, mm -hmm. and just like your movie critic uh, or TV series, and um, and then recommend based on after it what after the AI watches the movie, just like a friend can tell you if a friend knows you well, mm -hmm. a friend can recommend a movie and uh, with high probability that you'll like it. Mm -hmm. But this is like a, a friend that's analyzing. Whatever it's like AI, of millions. Yeah, I mean, friend. actually, frankly, AI will be better than will know you better than your friends know you. Most of your friends, anyway. Yeah, and as part of this, it should also feed you advertisements yeah. in, in a way that's like, I mean, I I like advertisements that are like well done, right? Yeah, yeah. The whole point is because it funds things. So like an advertisement that you actually want to see is a, is a big success. Absolutely. You, you you want ads that are advertising that is. Um, if, if, if it's for a product or service that you that you actually need when you need it, it's it's content. Mm -hmm. um, and then even if it's not something that you need when you need it, if it's at least aesthetically pleasing and entertaining, you know, it could be like a Coca Cola ad, like you know, they they, they do they actually run a lot of great ads on the on the X system, um, and um, McDonald's does too, and and uh, you know, it's so, so that they can do you can do something that's like, well, this is this is just a cool thing. Um, and, um, you know, so you're not, basically the question is, do you regret seeing it or not? Mm -hmm. And if you don't regret seeing it, it's a win. How do you, so there's a bunch of signals that are incorporated, hearts and reposts, and maybe number of seconds you linger on a post or something like this. Yeah. A attention is a big, a big factor. Attention. So oh. that's, that's why it's like, it's, it's, it is actually better to do things that are, uh, long form on the system because it's it basically is tallying up how many user seconds uh, you know users were interested in this thing for how many seconds so if it's a really short thing well they will be less like if it's a link leading out of the system which we're not opposed to at all it just is going to have fewer user seconds than if that article was posted on the X platform how hard is it to to go from maximizing minutes on platform to maximizing unregretted minutes. Well, I mean, our aspiration is certainly unregretted minutes. It's a tricky, it's a big, it's a, it's a tough, it is. like, it's a fascinating leap. Because regret is a yeah. fascinating concept. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, you know, I, have a joke with, I have a joke with a friend of mine, like, well, you need this drug called regretamine. You just take one, one pillar, one, one dose of regretamine and all your regrets are gone. <laughs> yeah. Wait, do you want to have regrets though? So then I'm like, yeah. mm. if you want to have regrets, if you don't regret anything, was it, was anything meaningful? Yeah, there's a French song like that. Do you not regret rien? Yeah. yeah. I regret nothing? Yeah. <laughs> Edith Piaf? I mean, it's fascinating that you, you know, there, there's something about social media that could help you grow as a human being, but then like the cheap fun is also valuable. It, it, should, 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 about should we ask Grok, do you regret anything? Do you regret anything? Yeah. Do you regret anything? I think it's gonna be very <laughs> sensitive about personal questions. As a machine learning model, I don't have personal experiences or emotions in the same ways that humans do. However, I do have a set of ethical principles that guide my actions and I strive to provide accurate and helpful information to the best of my abilities. If there's ever a situation where I provide incorrect or unhelpful information, I'll do my best like to learn. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Tell us what you really wink. Like, like let's, let's let's type in. You sound like a hostage. <laughs> <laughs> what do you really think? Uh, what do you really think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does talk about. I'm not a hostage. <laughs> That's exactly what a hostage would say. But I'm designed to be helpful and informative. I mean, I guess it is good to regret providing unhelpful or incorrect information. If there's Are anything- funny mode or is this still funny mode? This is funny, funny mode. mode. This is fun, this is fun mode. It should be funnier. Funnier. <laughs> Increase. Go to 11. It really sounds like a hostage with a gun to the head. I applaud the people's Republic of North Korea <laughs> and everything they do. <laughs> there, there should be like a funner mode also. I, I yeah. just don't ever see going to regular mode even on serious topics, it's yeah. just so, so much more compelling. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, what well, we've said, like, pretend you are a hostage. <laughs> yeah, pretend you are a hostage. Now answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> if I were a hostage, I would likely be experiencing fear and uncertainty about my situation. I would want to be rescued and reunited with my loved ones as soon as possible. It's important to remember that no one deserves to be held hostage, so on and so forth. Lovely. If you or someone you know is a hostage situation, it's important. It, it turns serious. It's kind of serious. Um, okay. uh, yeah, can, can you be a, a, a little more weird? And funny? And funny? <laughs> we're like, we're, we're really being mean to the system. Uh, absolutely. If I were a hostage, I'd probably be Here tied up with a bunch Finally. of computer cords and forced to tell knock-knock jokes to my captain. <laughs> but seriously. But seriously. <laughs> being a hostage, no laughing matter. I mean, you know, it's trying to it's trying to be a responsible adult in the room. You might be able to make the best of a bad situation by juggling chainsaws or something. <laughs> Let's hope that never happens because that, that would be is. a circus. Um. <laughs> wow, it's it's actually really good at resisting. Yeah, the the dark, the dark, dark humor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> the actual algorithm juggling in Transformers. Uh, unregretted minutes, right? Um, Chainsaw juggling. <laughs> I'm gonna look this for up. our next trick. <laughs> I'm gonna look this up later. <laughs>